This week, we will be reading Eddie Finds a Family by Sarah McGough, illustrated by Stephanie Lidbetter. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Yes? Then let's begin. I'm so excited to jump into this book. I've been chatting to Sarah online because she's an adoptive mummy and so am I. And this book is the perfect story for any little one who is adopted or parents who would like to start a family through adoption. Or maybe those that want to find out more about adoption and to share it with the next generation. So let's start. Eddie finds a family. Flossie and Frank were fabulous flamingos who loved having fun in the sunshine. They enjoyed nothing more than flying high in the sky or wading in their favourite river fishing for shrimp. One day they were chatting with their friends and having a great time splashing in the local lagoon. Out of the blue, Patsy Pelican asked, When are you two going to start a family? Flossie looked sad. Flossie and Frank longed to be parents and had tried to have a chick, but sadly none of their eggs were hatching. Frank explained how important it was for them to complete their family and wrap their wings around a chick of their own. Herbie Hippo asked Frank, Have you ever thought about adoption? My friend Stella Stork is a social worker who might be able to help. Flossie and Frank flew home with lots of thoughts whirring in their heads. They had never considered adoption, but why not? It would be wonderful to be parents to a chick who needed a family. Frank cuddled Floss tightly. Could adopting a chick be the answer to their flamingo family? Flossie rang Stella Stork, the social worker, to arrange a visit. Stella Stork spent time getting to know Flossie and Frank. She asked them lots of questions and got to meet their friends and family. Stella could tell Flossie and Frank loved each other dearly. They were kind, caring and funny and would make wonderful parents. Stella smiled to herself. She knew just the chick. Eddie Emu lived with his foster carer, Felicity Frog. How did an emu end up living with a frog? Eddie had a tough start in life. When he was a young chick, he was left on his own a lot of the time and was often cold and hungry. His parents loved Eddie, but didn't know how to look after him the right way and weren't able to learn how to keep him safe. Stella Stork was asked to make sure Eddie was cared for properly and never left alone. So she arranged for him to live with Felicity Frog. Eddie remembered feeling scared. He didn't understand what was happening to him and was sad and angry. Felicity Frog was kind and warm-hearted, but Eddie still cried every night which then made him grumpy all day. Eddie missed his parents and was confused. What had he done wrong? Why did his parents not love him? Felicity was calm and patient and gave Eddie lots of cuddles. She explained to Eddie he hadn't done anything wrong. His parents did love him but they were unable to give him the care and safety he needed. Felicity loved singing 
and Eddie found listening to her croaking very soothing. She was a great storyteller and often stroked him to sleep. Eddie finally realised he enjoyed living with her and started to relax. Eddie became an energetic, bouncy and happy chick who ran, danced and played to his heart's content. Felicity taught him hopscotch and leapfrog and made his favourite fruit and seed sandwiches. Mm, delicious. Oh, he loved Felicity Frog and felt safe. Felicity often talked to Eddie about his parents. She knew he still thought of them often and he had many questions. Will I always live with you? Eddie asked. A special mummy and daddy are waiting to find you, Felicity smiled. Am I lost? Eddie looked worried. Felicity's heart melted. You are definitely not lost. You are exactly where you need to be right now. You deserve the best in life and whoever has you as their son will be so lucky. Eddie felt tingles run down his long blue legs. His head went into emu overdrive. Eddie was buzzing with happiness, but he was also a little scared as he didn't know what his new mummy and daddy would look like. Would they be green or blue? Have feathers or fur? Be small or tall? Flossie and Frank were thrilled to get the call they were able to adopt. To make it more exciting, there was a chick needing a family right away. Flossie and Frank would now spend time with Eddie Emu to make sure he felt relaxed and safe with them. Stella Stork asked them to buy Eddie a cuddly toy and hug it often so it had their special smell. Flossie fluttered around the house with excitement and Frank was singing at the top of his voice. We are going to be parents. The same day, Stella Stork rang Felicity Frog with the amazing news. Eddie Emu was going to have a new mummy and daddy. Eddie was so excited, he launched himself in the air, forgetting emus can't fly. Flossie and Frank didn't get a wink of sleep. Tomorrow, they would meet their son. Eddie didn't get a wink of sleep either. He had been told all about Flossie and Frank, but was worried. What if they weren't nice like Felicity Frog? What if they didn't like him? What if they didn't have any nice toys? What if they didn't enjoy playing hopscotch? What if they smelt funny? Flossie and Frank had a spring in their wings. They arrived at the lily pad house early as they wanted the first meeting to be perfect. Both had butterflies in their stomachs as they flew over to say hello. Frank bent down to Eddie and gave him a big smile. Eddie felt shy and hid behind Felicity's legs. Felicity spoke to him softly and stroked his head Flossie walked over with the cuddly toy and offered it to Eddie. Wow, it was a beautiful blue flamingo. Eddie Emu loved his present. It had a nice smell. He felt excited. Frank, Flossie and Eddie spent the week together. They had breakfast, learned his favourite games, played in the bath and read wonderful bedtime stories. They even took Eddie to their favourite lagoon 
splashed around and taught him how to paddle. They had great fun. Eddie was enjoying his time with Flossie and Frank and took his blue flamingo everywhere. But he didn't want to leave Felicity. Eddie asked, Won't you miss me? Felicity kissed him. Of course I will miss you, but it fills my heart with joy seeing you with your new family. The big day had finally arrived. Flossie and Frank were beside themselves with joy and went to collect Eddie. An excited emu packed his suitcase and gave Felicity a loving goodbye cuddle. Eddie ran over to Flossie and Frank and gave them the biggest hug, squeeze and kiss. They would be together as the Flamingo family and he would have a mummy and a daddy to love him and keep him safe. Watch out for future stories to follow Eddie's journey. The end. Now, as an adoptive mummy, I can say what a fantastic book this has been to read between myself and my son. If you have any questions around adoption, then Sarah, the writer, has a website, www.theflamingofamily.co.uk, and you can head there to find out more. You can also email and contact Sarah by emailing eddie at theflamingofamily.co.uk. And Sarah works very closely with the charity Adoption UK and their website is fantastic with loads of useful resources. So you can also head to adoptionuk.org. Well, we hope you enjoyed that story. Do remember to subscribe to our channel to be the first to find out when our next story is live. And do like as well, it all helps. <laughs> well, we'll see you very soon, my little readers. It's goodbye from me and a bye-bye from Patrick. See you soon.